<laughs> Europe, how you doing? Yo, no doubt, no fear. TNA is here. Oh, look, yeah. he already sat here ahead of you already. Look at him. That's look at him. Bro, what is this? What you talking about? Well, hey, yo. That's that Jasper man. right there. Ah. Yeah, shit. Damn, I left my crystal. I was crystal. fucking with it, and I don't know what happened, but I woke. I like I like it. I don't know if I fell asleep, but that's for that grounding. shit somehow got like underneath like the middle of my back. My blue kai and I left it though. Kyanite? Blue kyanite. It's just so pretty. This time you gotta spark yellow, because last video. Oh, it turned to a there. forest. It's still there. The you touch? left it? I smoked it and then I left it again. I'll put that right up there for you guys to get it. Just, just put it in here and then mix it up. Again. Oh, see, he's trying to finesse now. <laughs> he's trying to. I think we could tell the difference though, guys. <laughs> oh my <laughs> mix it up in there. Are you gonna get too high from the Gandalf and then end up chalking it? Nah, we're smoking until we green out. I don't green out. Oh, we about to. Uh, All right, then we, we about to, uh, we're smoking until it's dark then. All right. Start right. it off right with some seed. Arms out. Yo, let's. Damn, that shit. Then everybody's serious. Up. It takes some of that in right there. It burned, but that's getting you know, a lot of you. I need some of this love here. Oh, I that little Get y'all saved up. You got your setups right. Treehouse looking real lovely. <sighs> yeah, we gotta go up there. You gonna insulate it or not? Nah? Yeah. I can put in some work on the treehouse, man. Usually I work like the same days that my dad's off. Oh, so okay. like our schedules are opposite. Okay. So we barely get any days to do it. But when you got them days, you come home. Yeah, we go hard. We, I we could go tell. Like the, you day. sent me just the base like a couple months ago, and then like a, a two months yeah, later. I'm pretty sure it's more advanced hard. than the last, way more advanced than the last video he put up about. Yeah, it looks crazy, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. The Gandalf for the culture. Mm -hmm. I've like, had a lot of random like just like how you shoot your car, etc. That's all like you in the way, you feel me? It's all connected. Like every like every small thing in your life connects directly to you and your inner self, you feel me? Yeah. Like how your room is, how your car yeah, is, all that yeah, stuff. I've noticed that. Like just making directly, my bed in the morning, mm -hmm. like it like it gets my it gets my mind right. Like it puts in that like Kind of like initiative to like. Have it's like, like a your room is a the, the physical version of your mind in a way. How your room is on the day to day is typically how your mind is. You think about it. Like yeah, bro. If you're a very sporadic, all around person, your room probably messy to everybody else. But to you, your room is like you feel me perfect. Like you know where everything is. You know where everything yeah, is at. Man. And then when you clean it, it's like you're in that kind of a new mind. It's something so but small, it had you but so like, ready to do mm -hmm. anything after that. Mm -hmm. That's what's that. It's like, and then you're like, where's this? Where's that? Because it's like you're stepping into a new mind in a way. You feel me? Like yeah. that clean room's like you're cleaning your mind out in a way. You gotta like, you feel me? You gotta sort through your thoughts and all that good stuff. Just looking at someone's room, you can kind of get like a gist of their personality. They say much. messy people are like people with messy rooms are creative though. Just like, yeah. My room usually. It's really just the clothes. Cause I don't feel like throwing my shit and folding it up. And like, I, when I get clothes. home, I just want to throw it down mm -hmm. and then get in my bed. But then the next day I'll do the same thing. I'm about to then I'll do it I'm over and over and then my room's dirty. Damn, strong fingers. <laughs> I thought I was holding it light too. No, I'd be like that sometimes. I don't know. My wisdom tooth. It stopped growing for a little while. Like I'm, I'm. It's something very random happened. I felt like I made it, like a lot of growth mentally, and then my last wisdom tooth finally like poked through a little bit, like just a little, little bit, and it stopped for like a minute. And then in the last recent week, I just went through a lot, and now it's starting to come through a little more. You feel me? I feel like wisdom teeth are connected like, actually, in some type of way. I mean, why are they called that? Exactly. And then we had a real good, you know, talk about you know if the time did come or not. No, nah, but I'm still not fucking with what you're saying. I know you don't. This man was like, I mean, if you got to be a dad, you got to be a dad. I was like. Nah, bro, he, this man's yeah, crazy. Yeah. No, nah, I'm not saying I'm going to be a dad. Now, that's what y'all are tweaking. This man wants to be a dad. I don't want to be no dad. I ain't going. Nah. I don't. This guy's looking to be a no, dad No, right think now. about it. So now say you're six months pregnant. No, bro, it wouldn't it. get there. You don't know that. Some girls that don't show. You can't do me. nothing at that point. And then say. Nah, nah, now, at that point, I can't do nothing. Nah, but mm, even like mm. four, like four or five months pregnant, bro. Think about what they gotta do to get that baby out. It's not, it's not a, bro, a it's not a nice it, process. It, I know I don't want to be a dad, this and that, but am I gonna duck it? No, cause I gotta raise that. I, I gotta deal with what happened. Yeah, at that point, at it's, that point, it's on my hands. Yeah, like I can't just run away. That's why would I? Like, no, I like, said I didn't want to have kids. Till I was like thirty, but I don't think I'm gonna wait that long anymore. Ah, no, twenty five, twenty, no, twenty six. Between twenty eight to thirty. 
Nah, I feel like that's too old for me. Just because, like, think about it. If you have a kid when you're 30, you're going to be 44 yeah, when he's that's 14. That's what somebody said to me. They said, I, I want to be, I wanna to be young and be able to do shit with my kid. I said that so, to you. Yeah, because, yeah. like, that's yeah, you can, you can still have that energy and whatnot. But think about it. When you're 44, it's going to be a lot harder than it was when you were, feel me, like 28, from like when you're like 30 in your 30, for me, no matter how good you take care of your body, the the yeah. impact of longevity still it still impacts your body. And think about your kid's gonna say your kid want to do a sport, want to do this and that. Now you you can't fully be fully yeah, there. Yeah, you're gonna be 50 and they're still in your crib. Exactly. When I'm 25, I'm gonna be nowhere as like mature enough to take care of a fucking little kid. Yo, yeah, that until you. It, get it will, I mean, it would like instantly. You're gonna be one of them people that get thrown into it, buddy. I'm Bro! You. You're gonna be thrown into it. <laughs> Bro, what that was the from the universe. That was from the universe. Truly from the universe. Right hand of God, that's from the universe. You're gonna just get thrown into it. Cause I could tell by your mindset, you're you're gonna kinda try to avoid it in a way. But like that responsibility is gonna I feel like that's a big responsibility <laughs> that you're gonna have to. That's bro, you're an asshole. You're an asshole. They, 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 they oh. told me to tell you. I couldn't ignore them. Nah. Like, like, I gotta, do, I gotta disagree with that one. You can, but I disagree with everything. A lot of stuff they tell me, and it happened. And I'm just like, really, bro? Like, Angel, leave me alone. I feel like that's gonna be a responsibility you're gonna have to own up to. And I mean, either way, like, you gotta do what you gotta do. Exactly. And that's all it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Like, you, you can't change a lot of shit. Like, a lot of shit is gonna happen regardless. Exactly. Some of it's written in stone in a way. Bro, a backwood hits my fucking lungs hard. That shit hurts. <laughs> that shit hurts. <laughs> yeah, I can't fuck with backwood. That shit would fuck with my lungs too much. I'm about, to, I'm about to sign out of these backs real soon. You don't want it? Hold on, hold on. Let me, hold on. Let me, let me bust my fingers off. My phalange. How you going, bitch, in the head of the game, you pulpy? You pulpy? <laughs> what are you doing? You need to smoke past it. Yeah, I'm a, he said we smoke until it's dark. That's a long task. But it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thugging it. I'm thugging it, baby. It. I got a book in the car. It's about past lives, and that shit resonated so crazy. Puts okay. me in a trance, and I haven't read in so long. For me, I picture more so like uh, me as a, like a warrior vibe. You feel me? And Way her in like a castle, and I'm coming like kind of stepping out of my line in like the chain of command. And you feel me? And I kind of got in trouble for that, but like our love prevailed in some way. But I feel like it probably was cut short because. Or your life, you only get to live in that goddamn 30 for real, for real. You don't got good chances. Yeah, exactly. For some reason, I think I sold crack. I know you did, nigga. <laughs> and you here now, look what? at that. You sold you crack? You sold crack back in the day? No, back, nigga. Yeah, that's what is, I'm saying. Bro, bro, bro. Back in that life? Bro, back in the life, that was like, that was like 50 years ago. <laughs> that was like 50 years ago, buddy. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's crazy. I don't even know what you're talking about. No, no, no. Crack selling crack in like 50 years ago. Just about. It wasn't that long ago. And he's what saying, do you mean and crack he's, selling? Like, like when People crack, still count, sell crack. Yeah, I'm saying, but he said in his past life, crack just didn't come out that long ago. <laughs> <laughs> it recent. wasn't that long ago. He, it was I didn't recent. Know that. He, 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 Bro, I was thinking like crack's been around forever. Mm -mm. Crack, crack, Nick, just crack the crack epidemic, yes, it happened very recently. Very, very recently. I had no clue. What number president was Nixon? That's the one who started. You was alive with right? your mom. Nixon. No, that's no way. Bro, you had how old your mom? How old is your mom, bro? How old is your mom, bro? Tell me how old. Yeah. Andy, let me see your phone, bro. I got get. I got to Google when the crack epidemic was. Go, please Google that. When was the crack e epidemic? <laughs> <laughs> that would got Andy on Mars. 1980s. <laughs> what? There's no way. That's bro. all I gotta say. 1980s. They keep saying 1980s. 19. Bro, 1980 was 50 years ago. No, it wasn't 50 years ago. Oh, it was like. Bro, yeah, that's it was 40. 40. No, 50, bro. 20. 20. Oh, 40. Yeah, yeah, I sold cocaine. Maybe, bro. Cause did you do good? Listen, buddy. Did you do good? I, I think I died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to die here now. <laughs> You probably Damn. still been alive. You came right back. You weren't wasting no time. Yeah, yeah, he was like, I need another chance. <laughs> I feel like I ain't been here in a little while. I don't know. It's been a little while for me. I think I was in like an animal. Put water in it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I forgot you opened up with the Gandalf. You're toasty over there right now. 
Let me see. I'm going to show you how I really smack that thing for the coaster. But let me see. I'm going to fly up. Crack your lighter out of here. Ain't no, no, ain't no way. <laughs> we're gonna find that bitch up. I didn't think I was gonna make it. It was like we were it's in a still... fucking cloud. We just gonna hit a leaf really for a minute. I'm gonna hit a cloud really. You said we smoke up to, to the sun. Go down the sun. still creeping over there, goddamn. Oh, yeah. Keep smacking, keep the rotate going. I think I was definitely like a bird or like something that flies. In a, in a life before. Cause I always, bro, like I always look at birds and I'm like, that would be, being a bird looks like it would be way better than being I would love what I am. Bro, they can go anywhere and do whatever. Not whatever, but you gotta think about it. Birds be getting packed the hell out. I'll be like a bald eagle That's in like almost, the jungle. They're bro. almost extinct now. My grandpa plays in the season. The bird from Rio is extinct. That blue bird. Mm -hmm. Blue McCall. Earth is cruel, man. Earth is cruel. Yeah, man. if I was an animal, I feel like I'd be a lion or a elephant. I don't know what I'd be. <clears throat> I like yeah. penguins a lot, but I don't want to be a penguin. I'm not going to lie. Penguins got the hard knock life. Penguins really got it hard. <laughs> like, nah. Bro, put that on a t-shirt. Penguins really got it hard. Nah. And then like a tough ass cartoon. <laughs> Cause bro, think about it. Look, and they're like, penguins every day. They're in the cold. Yeah. They have to. They they get they get they take care of their young and they waddle out to the ocean where they know the ops are waiting for them. The sea lions they are just get lurking, murdered. waiting, and they all dive in knowing. Feet. Yes, and they all dive in knowing they're they That's not probably gonna make it. And then they gotta waddle back with that food they got all the way home through the blizzards. They got it hard, <laughs> bro. I'm cool. But it's crazy. Like they're doing they're doing all right. And they be beefing over There's pebbles. <laughs> All shit, man. Bro, because they all so close, like they all huddle like together, so they're right. definitely gonna get in beef. <laughs> Imagine a penguin beef. Bro, there's probably a lot of penguin beef. They don't trying, they, to they the don't eggs, be trying to eat what, the eggs, bro. Trying to eat the eggs. Are they penguins trying to eat other eggs? Yeah, yeah. penguins be yeah. They yeah. 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 wicked. <laughs> but I look up the waiting for you, buddy. Hey, Amen. That shit look devious. What's the highest you guys have ever been? Probably that night in MDW. Bro, I was literally falling asleep while I'm rolling up. And then I'm like, I'm in like, in and out of nods the whole time. They're passing me, I'm sleep hitting them drawings. Like, <laughs> I'm just on, we talking, like we talking some real talk. And I'm just like, I'm way over there. Like my, I'm way up there floating outside my body. <laughs> like I feel myself just sitting in the, up in the room, just floating yeah. high as hell, just doing regular function. Like bro, like, when are we leaving this room? <laughs> Hurting, bro. I I was mad. I say ever been. I hit wax off a rig for the first time. I only did that once. I thought I was about to die. <laughs> you know, I did it. My <laughs> chest, like it was heat in my chest for like ten minutes. Ooh. You feel me? I'm coughing. Was your the whole heart? Time. Your yeah, heart was beating. So I'm like, oh shit. And as soon as that shit wear off, I was just high as shit. <clears throat> I need to see like probably 15 minutes later. First, first time I ever took like a dab, it was like the crumble. I got like one a, too. It was a key lime pie too. crumble. And that shit tasted good. It hit smooth everything. Oh, it was my man Angel Crab. It was a good high, feel me? But then next time I went to his crib, right? And he had the shad, like the, the wax. And I'm like, all right, hit it instantly. Death. I feel just instant death. I was like, bro, this is what it felt like when niggas hit crack. Mm -hmm. Like, what is this, bro? No. Yeah, I, death. I stopped so a long time. we sitting there watching Naruto, bro. I'm just, I'm out of it. Like, I'm gone. Like, I don't even know what's happening. I don't even know the characters' names. I'm just going. Keep in mind, I, I was watching. The, I, I finished Naruto at the time. I ain't know the names, nothing. So I'm like, all right, bro, I'm out. I'll start walking home. Whole walk, I feel myself like laying and like tweaking. I'm like, bro, I'm on, I'm on 50s right now. My head mentally, I'm straight, but my You're body, like a crack but my body is not here right now. Like <laughs> mentally, I'm here, but my body's gone, bro. I was like, never again. You're not hitting this shit no more, bro. That shit is dead. Yeah. I, why do you have to get that high, bro? What's yeah, the point? No point. Yeah. People that no do point. those, you you know You're they're gonna move on to You're some a other shit. You're a crackhead. Like if you need to get Can't, that, fried, I'm sorry. Yeah. Stop after you keep you consistently hit that. Yeah, shit. I know like, people that only hit those, and like, like you're trying to get the max amount of high without doing other drugs. Like I did a, a dab for the first time like a couple months ago. Really? And I was going. I went to Philly on the train, 
like after I hit the dab and the train, it was the first time I ever went on that train mm -hmm. and I was scared. <laughs> I was scared as fuck. I thought it was like a roller because <laughs> I hate roller coasters. So I was Why sitting do you hate down, it's just fun, bro, and it started going and I like I was nervous as fuck. Mm -hmm. And then the light started like flickering and then it turned off and then yeah, it and then stopped. It get dark. It get dark in that bit. Like, I was skitting. Uh, I think the highest I ever was when uh, I was looking at the sky and. I don't know if I told you guys this, but it was like all yeah. around the sky, there was like lines you told me like the, this. Yeah, you told me the lines and dots, yeah. right? There was lines like oh. this, and it all connected right in the middle. So it looked like a dome from every side, and they looked like they were, they looked like they were like, like mechanical lines. And then there was like a grid. It went the other way too, so it looked like it was like a dome. There were stars, but in between the stars, like evenly spaced out, there was red dots, like all over the whole sky, there was red dots. And I was talking and then I was like, what the fuck, why are, like I was starting to realize like what I was seeing and I was talking about it. And then as I was like talking about it and I was like, oh my fucking God, the, the red dots turned green. They all turned from red to green. Like, like I like unlocked some shit. It was like, you know, in the Hunger Games when she shot the dome, it was yeah, like that. Yeah, it, was, it was literally like that. Yeah. That was probably the craziest thing that ever happened. The greatest shit ever happened to me, I was on my roof, right? I was smoking. And I look around, I'm looking at the door. I got a nice little view. And then out of nowhere, I just see this white circle with like a little glass dome on the top. And it had lights on the bottom, like on the, like spaced out like a square. Lights on the bottom were flashing. And that shit's just going real slow. It's like, the goal right here is going real slow. And I'm just looking at it. And I'm like, bro, I'm on the phone. So I'm like, bro, what the fuck? What is, what am I looking at right now? Like, I close my eyes, pinch myself. I smack myself. And I look, and that shit is still going. I'm like, bro, what am I looking? I pull out my phone to record it. And it doesn't pop up on my camera. I'm like, yo, these niggas must have peeped. I'm looking at them right now. I got to get up out of here. They're going to come abduct me. And then it just kept going. To went to, like, you know how when something gets so far, it's just like it's just standing still now? Yeah. Kept going and just disappeared. And I was like, bro, I went in the room. My brother's like, bro, you good? He, he like, I heard you out there. It sounded like you was tweaking. I was like, no, nah, bro, I just seen some, some shit, bro. I don't even know what that was. That shit was, like, profound. Yeah. That was a very... Fine words. Yeah, I was about to say that was a good vocabulary word. My boy. I like that word because like there's a lot of shit that that was a very exquisite twist of vocabulary. Just like hits different into like a profound moment. <clears throat> You're right. I like the very descriptive words right there. Shows the depth of your mind. Stuff like this just really makes you just stop stressing about life. You really just sit down, listen to the birds. Yeah, we should just like sunset. take it in real quick. All the smoke, you can see it. <laughs> Bro, it's it's literally hot box right here. <laughs> <laughs> we hot box in the woods. Who who done it? We doing everything first right now, baby. You seen it live here? I forgot my smock in my car with my name on it still. You said it was a two. You said it was a eight. No, because it was. Nah, bro. It was a Z, bro. Stop playing. You said that because it was. <laughs> I'm about to beat you up, man. I think we almost fought before. I don't even remember how. Yeah. What? <laughs> When? I don't know. Sometimes. I don't think that keep you trying to fight everybody. No, bro, if you were trying to fight me, I I had no clue. Like, <laughs> you would have just, you would have been just. You're too nice, bro. <laughs> just slumps my shit. Now you're too nice of a guy. Sneaky. I would never sneak in. <laughs> that would be very human of me. Bro, I'd be dropped like a fly. Bro, you just said you could beat me up like the last time I was here. What happened to the confidence? Yeah, that was back then. That was like we're, a we're, couple nah, months nah, ago. Nah, we're talking about back then in high school. I think you would oh, slump me. Oh, so I'll slump you right now. Look at the gloves on for a charity video. <laughs> nah, I'll, I'll put the gloves on. Yo, that would be... What if we got like a, just a bunch of people that would box? I would be there. I would be boxing their heads off. I got a conspiracy theory, by the way. Andy the Human Devil Worshipper. What's the... Conspiracy. Exploring abandoned church with germs. Religious, religious paraphernalia. Six, six, and look six? at the views. It's six, six, yes, six. it is. Oh, I have called him. He's confirmed. But it's actually a little scary. Six, 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 not a bad thing, though. Not. I don't know. If you're living right. Yeah, and you're living right, clearly. So you're going to see, you're seeing the fruits of your labor. And six, 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 not even a bad thing for us. Yeah. Don't even get it twisted with the devil worship. And no, none of that. Yeah. This is a positive, positive spirit, <laughs> baby.
Y'all hear that, man? I heard that too, man. That nice grizzly coming down. Was stabbing with the the, the Gandalf. Bro, we would we would beat the shit up. Yeah, what happened with the Gandalf, buddy? Shrek it. No, you smell. Oh, you already smacked it. Yeah, now, you huh? shrek it. I feel very sophisticated, man. I feel like I can no longer associate with peasantry now. Do you feel like a gentleman, nigga? <laughs> I didn't even do that. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, bro, that shit rips. It's got no. <laughs> he looked like the uh, the fucking caterpillar in uh, Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> that thing all gas, no breeze. Touch. <laughs> bro, I gotta get a red tablecloth. I think that would go way. Hey right, man, what the fuck with that? What the fuck with that? You see what no. that? <laughs> <laughs> you better hit that. You're not doing it. That nigga took a little, a little baby. Yeah, this shit not it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're fucking me up. <laughs> no, I can start laughing, nigga. Because uh, nah, you did some bullshit. You did some bull. Look, even that. Andy the Human above you right now. He got it. No, that shit. He's a strong man. No, you about to hit that bit like a real nigga. I did. I'm cool. That's not it. We gotta do something more. <laughs> Come on, man. No, we gotta do something more. <laughs> we out of wood. We gotta duck you somewhere over there in the cut. The squid, the squid. Here. Bro, it's right, no we, doobies we, cannot. Squid, that nigga like a dick. Squid. <laughs> <laughs> no. Go ahead. Look, the tips are <laughs> We're outside, bro. The doobies is not about the doobie out here. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you didn't even hit it. I, I hit Oh, you told me about it. <laughs> bro, he hit. All right. Why would you ever leave your house? And why is your, your survival plan not centered around your house? It is. Well, you told me a different one. Was like, survival plan? Like, what would I do yeah, if there was an apocalypse? Me. In the apocalypse, you got too I, many people. You got man. RVs, yeah. my Gs. You just got to defend the world. Come through, don't try the means. You just gotta be like a <laughs> like a safe word. You gotta like yell the safe word so I know it's you. Yeah, you tickleberries. Tickleberries? Some, yep, some random shit. Yeah, I don't <laughs> support that. <laughs> like, no, that's gonna be some. <laughs> yeah, I say it. Yo, it's like word. it's like war. We're like we're like about to gun you down, and you're like tickleberries. Like, tickleberries, like what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. tickleberries. Nah, okay. I mean that's unforgettable. I feel like I feel like now if you did that, I would I would automatically. You just start go, laughing like, oh shit, so tickleberries. Like, yeah, it's the perfect one actually. Now that Cause now you're like, like I, it's like a long time we ain't. I talk. can't mistake that for anybody right. else. It's like it's like, like we ain't talking a minute. <laughs> You feel me? And then you just hear, and then you, you come on. I'm like, tickle bears. He's just like, oh, that nigga's our kid. What if somebody like interrogated you and like nah, found bro, out that that was the password? I and ain't then they came over and then I was like, oh, it's our And they turned around and they shot me and Murphy. killed me. Nah, bro, I ain't breaking. If I, if I get interrogated, <laughs> I'm breaking. Everybody knows that's, that's the fucking, uh, that's the password now. So people might actually try to do that. Oh shit! Really? <laughs> switch the password. Oh, we want to switch the password. You smacking that shit again? He said we gotta do something else. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, roll that, bro. That table. Right I hear Andy. Throw, bro, here you roll that. Wait, wait, we still got this. We still got this. Throw some gas in there. Roll that. No, no, what are you doing? I'm packing this it It's crazy, bro. I'm packing it <laughs> <laughs> It's so. Why did you just do that? <laughs> yeah. This bro, nigga's crazy. Bro, so you're done with this? Bro, for the now talk bro, no, you the goofy <laughs> ass nigga. Why would you ever do that? That's how that's how you get more in there. That's how you in get the a, <laughs> in the in the backwoods, that's a fresh pack. You just don't know about that shit. <laughs> Let me put you on. You don't know about that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and they start dump, like it's a fucking dipping dot. Oh, they start funny. dumping that, the fuck it. That. You're down bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, down so, bad. Wait, wait. Just put the roach in the bong if you're down that bad, bro. Just don't do that, man. I'm packing this with a stick. I hope you guys don't care about that part either. This is hard. <laughs> hmm, I need uh, here, bro. Yeah, bro. I don't got the patience for this right now. Here, come on. Dude. Oh, 
Uh, no chance. <laughs> Here, come on, bro. Hell yeah. Give it to the paper, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, you paper fuck. Oh, what happened, Andy? You want me to smack that? Smack that shit, nigga. Or you want this guy? Nah, I know how you get down. I know how you get down. What the fuck? <laughs> no, nah, I feel like I can never hit that shit again, though. You just ruined it. <laughs> look at it. Look at the first time. Bro, I'm pretty sure you smacked that before. <laughs> no, nah, bro. I'm 99% sure you smacked that before. I don't remember that bitch. In the shop. Like In the shop. I don't remember that bitch. I ain't gonna All right. <laughs> He's a liar. Oh, no, oh, I got really thick back on that one now. What was we doing? We were in the shop. Doing what? Um, I think you was trying to throw random accusations at me. Bro, bro, that was, <laughs> you caught up, that, bro. Man. That was when we painted. That was the day we painted. No, we smoked the L and the Gandalf pipe that day. Yeah. We smoked the L and the Gandalf pipe. And then you were like, I'm too high. I can't I can't <laughs> smoke no more. And I was like, all right. <laughs> Every time we went in the shop, you're like, I can't smoke no more. I'm too high. After like one L, let's stop playing. No. He, he got caught up trying to throw me under his bus. <laughs> now, niggas is crazy. Nah, nah. It was a different time. It was a different time. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that girl. What? Look at it. Nah. Nah, it's cool to you. <laughs> hey viewers, I'm gonna leave that up to y'all to let me know how that this you have to take that there from every angle. Get over the back. It looks like a tool. <laughs> <laughs> wait, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Look, like look, 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 that's yeah, a, it's, it's, wait, wait, that's his head, but look at the look at that. That's like his dick. Like <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, oh, you see that shit, right? No, oh, bro, what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you stuck in? <laughs> nah, yeah, bro. You see it, right? That's a kid! Oh! Dude, that's a that's dick. That's his kid! <laughs> you hit his kid. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I'm done, bro. I gotta go. I need a break. Oh, I got a break. Oh my God. Bro, the, the second he realized yeah. it. Oh. Bro, bro. Bro, no. Oh, no. Bro, don't, don't look at it too hard. Because, like, if you look at the back, bro. too. <laughs> you mean for the back? What else? Bro, yeah, yeah, I'll be good. <laughs> No, bro. get the thing away from me. <laughs> Put him over there. Oh, oh shit. Damn, I never even noticed that. <laughs> now for sale. <laughs> Comment. I think just for that, it's worth like double the price. Yeah, I think it just went up. Uh oh. Bigfoot. There's been Bigfoot out here. He's gonna run down. You got that four pound on you. <clears throat> six. Fuck is a six pound guy? What is that? <laughs> I don't know what you meant by the four, by the four pounds. So I just said right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I just got a bigger gun. I don't think I could roll that if you pay me like a million dollars. Nice dude being in the crib. Yeah. I've been right. done for the last like <laughs> four things that we smoked. I know. Oh, I'm dropping gas. They're trying to save you. Look at that little grab in there. Near. I'm going to let him live. Oh. <laughs> You just got instant karma. I know, right? Because he threw that grab in there and I called him out. <laughs> hey, I'm falling, bro. Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what is that shit? <laughs> you start talking shit. Bro, you're at the end. You're at the easiest part. <laughs> my fingertips are Bro, my fingers <laughs> just cold as shit. Oh, and they not, I don't feel them properly. So. Do you guys read any books? Yes. Yeah, so I'm reading a book about... Um, reincarnation, but it's the love book pretty much. It's about pyramids mm -hmm. a couple go, and they get this thing done where they get put into a trance and they recall their past like very vividly because it's your soul, you feel me? <clears throat> and he asks them, he sets guidelines to ask them certain questions so that they like they don't go too far. Cause like you can feel everything. You pretty much are back in that moment once you're under that trance. You feel me? Yeah. And like your soul is really there. You can recall everything. And he asked, he pretty much asked them to go to a moment with that person and they'll go back to a moment in their past life where they met that person and they'll explain it. And it's a pretty <clears throat> amazing book. Like the one couple. Is that how you got yours? Like mm -hmm. the one about you being like a, a warrior? Is that no, I want to do it. I, uh, I just felt it. I just how like when I was a kid, my favorite movies were King Arthur, Achilles, like a bunch of like war movies. Mm -hmm. But like the last time, if I was reincarnated with a pirate, I don't know. Probably like 
the last time I vividly remember probably was like sword time, sword and shield times. So but I probably was around when this That's happened. probably like the hardest time period ever. Like people would just like, no guns, it was all just, if you wanted to take somebody's land and go to war, like that was hand to hand contact. Like, bro, that was. I like it because that that's hard. like the finest. I level. wish I was born That's like there. the highest level of sport. You feel me? Because like you're, you're, to the you're competing for your life. Yeah. You're competing hand to hand, competing for your life. That's the highest form of sport. And like that's yeah. you got to be on your A game. You know you're beating somebody on their A game when you're, when you're taking their life. I'm reading the motivation, motivational manifesto. Basically, it talks about like personal freedom, like in the world we're supposed to have. You feel me? Mm -hmm. We have the right to you feel me? And that it talks about that. Like you can choose freedom or you can choose to be like just part of society. Yeah. You know? And it said like fear is not really a thing. Like the only thing you should fear is like real physical possible danger. Yeah. Other than that, it's just anxiety and shit like that in your mind. It's not really it's just not anything for real. It's yeah. just your mind. You just gotta you gotta unlearn shit. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Like, exactly. You gotta read yeah. so you can learn some shit. Like you open your mind, you start to question like everything you knew. Your mindset starts to change. Yeah. Another good book is Fuck Your Feelings. <clears throat> I read that already too. You read it? Yeah. Read oh it. yeah, so I like to hear that book was some shit right there. He just that book is some shit. He talked real heavy, like, like, like his main point is like pretty much you don't have to go for the deep bomb every down. So you got four downs in football. All you need is 3.4 yards every day. You just got to be consistent and do what you got to do every day, regardless of what's going on. You're always going to get that first down. You're always going to get to the end zone. You're never going to be in that fourth down predicament where you're panicking. You're always going to be making, like, for me, constant progress. You're always going to keep moving forward. And you're always going to keep getting better. Like, think about it. And then I read another book, The 10X Rule, which I kind of tied into that book because the tennis was like pretty much you got to set your goals 10 times higher than whatever they are. Regardless, you got to set them 10 times higher because think about it. If you if you set your goals 10 times higher and you, you end up not reaching that goal, you'll still be way further than you were if you just shot for your original goal. Yeah. Because your original goal would have been down here. You're shooting way up there 10 times. So you're going to, you'll still land in this area somewhere here. And you're still above where you would have been projected. So yeah. you feel me saying you got to go ten times harder, regardless. You feel me? Yeah. But then you got to stay consistent. You feel me? Like while you're going ten, you got to stay consistent at the same time. I think you said in there. I think like you said like you're not special. Like he he meant like mm -hmm. people think everybody is worried about what they're doing when in reality people got lives and problems just like you. They're not. Yeah. Thinking about you all the time. They think about their own mm -hmm. life. Yeah. You know what I'm like, you're not Nobody's worried about you. Exactly. Yeah. But like your own mind makes you think that people that are. That everybody's, the world's so like focused on you and you're just a random person. You're just another little speck. We're so little in, in terms of everything. We're so small, but we're so, our lives are so impactful. Because our souls came here with a very specific purpose. No matter where we are in the world, our souls came here with a purpose, you feel me? No matter what happens in your life, your purpose will be fulfilled no matter just how to learn a, Just to learn a lesson, too. Exactly. No matter how yeah. small you feel, like you're here for a very deep purpose. You probably won't find it. You is going to find it. I believe in everybody. Everything happens just so you can like learn a lesson from mm -hmm. it and, I do do, believe and in develop your soul. I do believe in being able to change your destiny too. That's always been a firm belief in mine. Yeah. yeah, you could you can create your you can create your app. Yeah. You can manifest. Yeah. Yeah. You are the universe. Humans are just generally like creative Angles. beings. Like think of think of like what we've created in the world. Like but nothing about, else that we know has ever done anything like like humans have um, yeah. like art wise like being yeah. creative like yeah. all these inventions like even just like yeah. inventing because we're the only one that can understand the earth. I feel like some yeah. inventions are uh, very like bro but we had the ability to go to like the moon and shit they actually don't I that should no, be uh, I we have the ability to go to outer bro, space bro, if they, I don't know, know. I don't know. 
Yeah, you're iffy on that one. I'm I mean, I'm in, yeah, I'm not, I'm not set on it, but uh, I don't really. I think the odds are in the favor of we go to outer space, but like I've seen like a lot of shit to tell me otherwise. Probably Elon can go Musk. to outer space, but they did not tell him. They probably got them alien aircraft. And yeah, they. Yeah, in the they're not gonna tell us shit about what's going on up there. No. No. We could be at like war or some shit, and they probably wouldn't tell us. Yeah. Cause it would just make they it don't worse want panic. Them. They don't want paranoia. Yeah. Oh, they only they only create People panic want. when they want it, like with COVID and all that. They don't need they don't want unnecessary panic. They only need it when it's necessary. I might just go to bed straight up. <laughs> it's only like six o'clock, man. Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna get back to sleep. Yeah, I used to do uh, nine to four thirty. I would do shit before I went to work, mm -hmm. and it would make me like, it would make like my energy at work way better. Yeah. yeah. Like, I wouldn't be going in, like, tired as fuck. Like, as soon as I wake up, like, yeah. I've already done shit in my day, and, like, my day's already off to a good start. That work doesn't affect me as much. Yeah. You gotta live how you live sometimes. Yeah, I fuck with the night vibe. Like, I feel like, too. like the I funnest shit happens at night. I know. It's like I'm just, uh, like, I'm not alone. Cause I know there's other people, but it's like, I feel like I'm just alone. I'm just there. I got my time. Like, this is just me. Sure. I'll probably write my best songs like after 12 o'clock. Don't they say that like uh, 3 a.m. is like the the thinnest thinnest the wall is between like reality and like the spirit yeah, world? It's like 3 to like 4, 3 or 4. Yeah, so probably like the later it gets, like the more that taps in. Ooh. 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 He's freezing. Oh, bro. Is that cold, buddy? Oh, I've been shaking for a minute. I've been shaking. I'm about to hear, guys. Oh, I'm just high as hell. I'm high as hell. You see his eyes? His shit's beat. I'm high, high, god damn. Damn. I don't even know what's going on. I'm in the woods, high than a motherfucker, high than a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> episode two. All right, guys, we out of here, man. End of episode two. That's number two. Hey, man, say, man. Back at it again. Why do you put this bitch nigga in my shit, bro? Get this bitch nigga over here. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I will oh, give you that. that. I'll give you that for free. What? The squid. You think I want that deal, bro? <laughs> no, I, bro, I forgot to put that. <laughs> you have been there for a minute. I know he was, this bitch ass. You think I want that deal, though? I don't know what you did with that. I don't know what you do with your long time with your mouth and that beer thing. 